the natural hydroelectric power resources belonging to the people of the United States or the several states shall remain forever. You might say in system engineering we always dream big <laughs> because we were the planners. Our culture and our history right from the beginning was, gee, we're going to be doing some things that have never been done. So let's just figure out how to do it. When you looked at the BPA system at that time, there were two generating plants, Grand Coulee and Bonneville. And the basic system was a line from Grand Coulee to Seattle and a line from Grand Coulee down to Bonneville Dam. And from Bonneville Dam, a line to Portland, Ross Substation, and from Ross Substation, a line back up to Seattle. The transmission of electricity is making such scientific strides today that we can well visualize a date not far distant when every community in this vast area will be wholly electrified. And in the study of the system, there were two tools we had. This was what they called the starboard, which was a small DC model of the transmission line, or the big tool, the network analyzer, which was the more uh, sophisticated model, right, where you studied the behavior of the system, particularly for fault conditions. And you'd need some tool to figure out, okay, what, what is going to happen and what, what kind of qualities and what kind of characteristics and specs do we need for how this power system will behave if we want to build it out in this fashion. So it was uh, a very necessary tool before large-scale computing was available. Had to have something. The big concern, of course, was what they called system stability, that uh, a fault would not tear the system apart and shed a lot of load. And so that was the workload on the network analyzer. The line segments were represented and uh, load and generation, just a model, simplified model. And that was the only one, as far as, far as we knew, uh, west of the Mississippi. <laughs> it was a special group. I mean, you had to be trained, and uh, you represented the transmission lines and the transformers and the generators. By the time I knew her, you know, she'd been there for quite a number of years. In her specialty was how to represent loads for studies. In other words, you can't represent all these little customer service loads. You had to combine them without losing the electrical characteristics within the system. And that was her specialty, to combine these loads to get the system down to a size that you can study because you can't study every substation, you know, you have to aggregate the loads. So Network Analyzer was critical in the early days of Bonneville's uh, design and construction program. It was flat out big construction as fast as you could go. So Bonneville was in a, uh, a big build out and they needed a tool to be able to prove out um, the designs so that when when you uh, actually flip the switch, that uh, there would be minimum smoke. You have a model of it, and so you put a fault on a line, and you could see how the generators would wiggle. <laughs> I mean, how the frequency changed, and if it changed too much, then the system went unstable. So that what the network analyzer then helped you find these soft spots, and then the had to reinforce your system to take care of the problem. You know, there are time frames that you need to pay attention to in power system operation. The shortest time period is right after an event happens, like when a, when a breaker opens, it produces a, a switching transient, and you want to make sure that your 
system is such that the voltage spike doesn't put the equipment beyond their rated capabilities. What you did worry about is that a fault on the system, if it wasn't cleared properly, does not cause the instability of the whole system. That was the big worry because a reasonable blackout is not what anybody wanted. <laughs> It was pretty revered as an innovative piece of technology for, um, uh, for its time period. I think without the network analyzer, it would have been hand calculations, way more time consuming, and maybe not as accurate because you had something that could replicate what would actually happen when you turn the switch on. The, there were no digital computation at that time. There were no computers. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the network analyzer was the computer of the day <laughs> as far as network analysis. Well, without it we wouldn't have the sophisticated system. It was the model <laughs> of the behavior of the network. <laughs>